have you ever been off-roading in GTA? I'm wondering, what are the best off-road vehicles in this game? Well, I'm here to show you, so let's go. So starting off, we have the Karakara 4x4. Now this vehicle is one of the most recent off-roaders to be added to the game. And the reason I've picked this is because first of all, it has a decent top speed for an off-road. On top of that, it has a lot of customization, which is an extra bonus to you when having It has a very good off-road capability, being in, I think, a top 10 or top 5. Moving on to the second car. Now, at number 2 on this list, we have the trophy truck. Now, this vehicle, you can find it on some San Andreas for about 700,000, roughly, I think. And this vehicle, I think, is the best for off-roading out of every vehicle in this game. Obviously, it does look more like a rally car than a normal car, so if you're not looking for that type of thing, then I suggest you move away from it. But if you're looking to be racing in off-road races, this is probably your best bet to winning it. Let's move on to the next. Other than that, is one of the most customizable vehicles in the game, and is roughly the third best off-road vehicle in the entire game as well. It also is a pretty big car and can fit four people compared to the trophy truck which can only fit two. So that's another bonus. And personally I think it looks very nice. Let me know what you guys think of the Camacho. For the next vehicle on this list we have the Reactor. Now this also comes into the top five or top three of off-road vehicle capability. A downside of it is it is only able to fit two people, but it does have decent looks other than the fact the wheels are really, really wide out, which I guess you could call a unique thing. Mainly, the reason this has been put on the list is because it has a very good off-road capability compared to other ones. I think it just beats the Camacho in off-road capability. If you are still watching, make sure to smash a like and subscribe if you enjoy. For the second to last vehicle on this list, we have the free this car is just very unique there's nothing like it it's also decent at off-roading it's not the best it's not the worst it's slap bang average but I put it on this list just because of its uniqueness there's no other car in the game that looks anything like this compared to all the other ones on this list which obviously you know look decent decent whereas this one it looks a lot more futuristic kind of like a mini cyber truck if you say. But yeah, let's move on to the final car of the list. For the final car on this list, we have the Evron. Also one of the newer vehicles on this list. It's just a really fun car to move around in. It's also a remake of the Mitsubishi in the real life. I'm not quite sure what it's called, except like the actual name of it. Yeah, this has been put on this list for its looks, its off-road capability, its size, its ramming capability. It's just got everything. It's an overall good vehicle. It's not the best, it's not the worst. But yeah, it does the job. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy. Remember, this video wasn't in any sort of order. It was completely random, but the cars we put in this are all some of the best off-road vehicles to use in the game. Make sure if you are new to smash a like and subscribe and comment any new video ideas below if you want to see them. But other than that guys, I'm out.